So social media is a place where you can express yourself. You can tell people your deepest desires. You can also post things about your life. Or you could just make yourself look like a completely retarded person. Today we're gonna to be looking at some of those completely retarded people. This is You're Bad at Social Media, number 26. Let's do it. Good morning, guys. What do you really like most about me? Oh, I wonder what they're gonna say. I like your taste in clothes. Okay, I didn't see that coming. Come on, this girl knows what the fuck she's doing, okay? Good morning, guys. I wanna know what you really like about me, so let me shove my boobs in your face and see what you got to say. You're not really leaving people many options here. They're either gonna say you have a great set of boobs or they're gonna be like, I love your neck. I love the fact that the shadow on your neck is making it look like you have an Adam's apple. Almost as if you might be a man. In fact, you're tucking your legs really tight there. Where are you hiding your penis? Where is it? I know what's going on here. That'd be like if I took a picture of my dick and sent it to someone who was like, what do you really like most about me? What are they gonna be like, oh, I love your eyes. I love your eyes. I love your persistency in sending me dick pics when I keep saying no, fucking stop. Slutty boy says, Tuh, no words for what she means to me. 100 my world, I love you, mom. Now let me just grope your ass a little. Yeah, bend over, I'm gonna spank you. Why are you groping your mother? If that is, in fact, his mother, you should not have two hands palming her ass. I've never given my own mother a hug and put two hands on her ass and just taken a big grab, like, nice ass, mom. And I'm pretty sure if I did do that to my mom, she wouldn't be smiling about it and, like, bending over for me to do it more. This is a sick relationship we're witnessing here. Why are you groping your mom? No one should ever be groping their mother. Shame on you, son. Shame on you, mother. What? What is going on? Here's a girl doing duck lips. Just an amazing thing that's all over the internet. People doing duck lips. I just, I fucking love it. I just fucking love it. Steven says, would you be offended if next time we hang out, I brought slices of bread to tear pieces off and toss at you? <laughs> I get it, because of the duck lips, right? God, when I see someone posting pictures of duck lips, it makes me feel like cutting their lips off. My serial killer name would be the Duck Lip Killer, and people would praise me for doing the world a justice. Why are people so fucking stupid? I don't know, bro. They just are. <laughs> oh, maybe he's French. Stupid. 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 Is that coming out Italian? I don't fucking know. Stupid. 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 <laughs> Oh, I'm an idiot. No edits. Gotta love me. I'm small but fun size. Like if I'm beautiful. Comment if no. Sad face. Oh, yeah. No edits at all. You're just naturally a warped circus freak. I'm very concerned for you. Did you really think people would fall for this bullshit? Let's see if they did. What the fuck is this? You look stupid as fuck. And you totally edit this shit. Your thighs ain't even that big. You can so tell this shit is edit. Is not Photoshop. What the fuck? Dumb bitch. Isn't that edit? Damn, busted. No, what the fuck? That's edited. One boob is bigger than the other. Sweetheart, you can tell is the breast. And especially the blanket is all curvy. And your thighs don't match. And your eyelashes, come on now. Love what God has given you. Don't be something you're not. You're beautiful without all that stuff. I just want to point out every single person who typed in this whole like comment section, you guys fucking suck at typing. It's a fucking hot hot mess in this comment section, but still, they're all right. Like, what did she think? She's gonna fool these people? Well, maybe, they all seem half retarded. But look at her, like, <laughs> that's not a natural way to be looking. And she also drew makeup on her face. Why wouldn't you just put makeup on your face and then take the picture? Why are you using Microsoft Paint to put makeup on yourself? That's fucking stupid. If this is what you look like, you should be severely concerned because you probably have a series of tumors growing in your body. I just don't know how people do this kind of shitty Photoshop and then they look at it and they're like, that's beautiful, I look great now. No one will ever know. This should be in a magazine. <laughs> fucking stupid. <laughs> and then when people call them out on it, they're not like, yeah, I photoshopped it, whatever, I thought it'd be funny. They're just like, no, I'm gonna stick to my crappy story. I didn't photoshop this. What are you talking about? My camera's just broken. Oh my god, why did the Civil War have to happen? It'd be one less thing to study. Nicole, it was to free the slaves. Well, Nicole wouldn't have to study at all if the Civil War didn't happen. She might prefer it. She's like, wait, I wouldn't have to go to school? 
I just have to hang out at some rich white dude's house all the time. That sounds like a great time. Food, $200. Data, $150. Rent, $800. Candles, $3,600. Utility, $150. Someone who is good at the economy, please help me budget this. My family is dying. Spend less on candles. No. You know what? Your family's just gonna have to die then. They're gonna die surrounded by scented candles. And it's gonna take people months to find the bodies because your house is gonna smell amazing forever. You know what? I think he should do is cut half of his food budget and put it straight into candles. You're not spending enough on candles, man. Hey, what's been going on the last 30 plus years? Hope all is well. Yeah, life is pretty good. I live near blank. I have a gifted 15 year old boy and my wife of 24 years is screwing another asshole. We're getting a divorce, winky face. I got a Harley that I rode a lot. How is your family? Holy shit, man. Just way to drop that bombshell on your friend you haven't talked to in 30 years. How's it going? Well, my wife's a whore, but other than that, everything's pretty good got a Harley. Our lights are electric because my phone and iPad won't charge, but my lights are still on. Why do the woman never have to take a DNA test to see if it's theirs? My sister twerking on her baby daddy grave. R.I.P. my n-word. I miss how we fucked on the side. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck? You should never at any point in your life be twerking on someone's grave. And just how she's all nonchalant, like, I, I miss how we fucked on the side. Like, isn't your sister gonna see this? You're putting this all over Twitter. And what kind of grave site is this? That doesn't look like a very professionally done grave. It looks like they just buried a body themselves and they're twerking on it. Hey, how you going? Excellent. Anyway, I just wanted to ask something. My mate was wondering if there will be any sniffer dogs in or around the Stereos Festival. Just because he's allergic to dogs, that's the only reason. Thanks. Definitely not because I'm trying to bring weed into the concert. I just want to know, should I put it in my pocket or up my ass? <laughs> just kind of curious. And here's another dumbass putting their credit card all over the internet. Officially an Amex card owner. Yay for good credit. Well, not for long when someone steals your identity and takes out six mortgages in your name. Do you realize you just put your credit card number on the internet? I just don't understand how you can be so fucking brain dead. Just got a new credit card. Check it out. Now you all have a new credit card too. Rate me and my homegirl Laquisha. We got pregnant on the same day. We got the same baby daddy. We had a threesome and that shit was lit. But Taquan left us. Now we is struggling to keep these babies. 200 likes and me and my homegirl Laquisha will abort our monkeys. Why are you letting Facebook decide if you're gonna have an abortion or not? That's fucking twisted. I'm glad to see it only got 11 likes. But for the 11 people that like that, you're some sick fucks. You're like, yeah, abort that fucking baby. Let's get this to 200. Isn't there a bit of a limit? They look very far along. I don't think they can even abort their baby if they wanted to. I mean, they probably could find a way, but legally, I don't think they could do it at this point. 200 likes and we'll throw ourselves down a flight of stairs. I'm so impressed. I'm pretty sure she meant to say embarrassed, but she fucking butchered that word. I'm so embryous. Me and Bay was fucking and I felt the runs coming and it came out so fast I shit on his dick. He mad at me now. Sad winky face. <laughs> well of course he's fucking mad at you. You shit on his dick. That's a traumatizing experience for a man. He's never gonna want to have sex with you again. You shit on his dick. I don't understand that. If you've got the runs maybe decide not to have sex. Or maybe just take a shit before you start having sex. Or maybe just hold in your shit like an adult. If you feel it coming, be like, you need to pull out because I'm about to shit on your dick. Like, just communication in a relationship is very important. If a girl shit on my dick, I'd just cut it off and start over. I'd start over as a woman. And I'd just be going around shitting on dudes' dicks. Also, if you're very embarrassed about this, why are you posting it all over the internet? Like, I'm really embarrassed, but I'm just gonna tell everyone how I shit on a dude's dick. But, like, pff, you're fucking logic. Like, it was really embarrassing, so I'm gonna embarrass myself even further by posting it all over the internet instead of keeping it to myself like a normal human being would and just burying it in the past like it never fucking happened. Seriously, though, a girl taking a liquid shit on your dick has got to be traumatizing. I'm sure there's some sick fucks out there that are into it, but I would never want shit on my dick. 
I never want to be a shit dick. I, this is the whole reason I don't have anal sex is because I don't want shit on my dick. And then there's all these people that have anal sex and are like, it's not that bad, just wear a condom, whatever, you're being dramatic. Well, that's your choice, okay? You wanna have anal sex, that's fine. I don't want shit on my dick. I'm thinking this is how the butt plug was invented originally. Some guy got poop on his penis and then he invented the butt plug because he was like, never again will this happen to me. So thanks for watching my You're Bad at Social Media number 26. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some good laughs out of it. If you do enjoy the series, hit the like button down below. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Give me some feedback. And if you enjoy me and everything I do here on YouTube, then hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel because there will be lots more content coming soon. We are now at 968,261 subscribers on our way to a million. We are really close. We're going to do it. And I will see you guys again really soon with lots more content coming soon.